everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today we're going to continue on with our Law of Attraction series because I have learned more information, my week has been amazing and I wanted to share with you some of the new strategies that I'm doing so it's going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. Now this week in particular, I have been spending a lot of time listening to the teachings of Abraham from Esther and Jerry Hicks. It has been so amazing and there's been some um, stories that they've been telling that really stuck with me and over the days that I've been able to process the information, I've had a number of breakthroughs which has been amazing. <clears throat> so one thing that Abraham talks about in their teachings is going with the flow. Now this saying, like you've all would have heard it, but I never really understood exactly what that meant. When I was in Hawaii, which was like, just probably over a year and a bit now, you can check out my vlog situation from um, the series entitled Aloha Hawaii. And that's where I fell in love with Dr. Master Jigon Shah and learned about how to heal the body um, in a very alternative way to um, Abraham's teachings. Anyway, in particular, there was one beautiful person that I met. If you recall, if you've been following me for a while, her name was Shanti. Shanti was the beautiful Hawaiian lady. Well, she's not Hawaiian, but she lives on the big island. Um, she was teaching me about going with the flow and making sure that you're in, in alignment. I understand what that is now. Now, in order to go with the flow, you need to be going downstream. So think about it as if you're in a life raft just about to go onto um, some rapids. Now, I actually did this when I was in Switzerland and you think about how crazy the currents are. Number one, I went in winter, so it was freezing. It was like negative something in the water. I didn't want to fall off and there were rocks everywhere. So that was very confronting. And we had to sign this disclosure statement, which to say that you're going at your own risk. If anything happens, then it's because of you and the company takes no responsibility. And I was like, oh, okay, yep, sign the line. Yep, get in, get all suited up. Anyway, what really stood out for me is in the fact that it's not a Disney World ride. Like this company that I was going with couldn't turn off the rapids. And this was real life. And with real life, there's going to be things that are going to come up. And it is easier for us to go downstream, going with the flow or the current of the water. What I have been doing for a very long time is I have been paddling upstream and I have been um, saying, oh, you would have heard like there's a lot of entrepreneurs that I follow that are like, hustle, 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 join the 5 a.m. club and do this and do this and work, 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 work. And that doesn't work for me. If you watched my, if you've been watching since last year, I know I've got a lot of new viewers, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, last year, I had set out to, I was actually um, funded to write a book. And what happened was I, the DVD player is still on, it's playing funny noises. I seized up and as a result, I, cause illness and disease within my own body and I was hospitalized and since then I have been trying very very hard to find alignment and balance so I never end up in that situation ever again because it was very confronting and there were a lot of changes that the universe was saying well you're not listening to me Mel so I'm going to put you in hospital and then you won't be able to work and then you really will have time to think and then this is what you need to change. And I was like, okay, I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it. I was paddling upstream. I was working so much and I was just, you know, swimming against the current. And when you do that, you get tired and you need to have a break. And you you just, you know, you're like, I've got so much to do. I can't go to bed and blah, blah, blah. Like in my former career as a primary school teacher, um, I was working, I would say seven days straight. <laughs> And I was working 12 hour days, probably Monday to Friday. Saturday I work half a day and probably Sunday, probably about four or five hours. So I was working a lot. And I was like, you know, I'm professional now. I have my own class and we're doing this, this and this, and I've developed this 
behavior management scheme and my kids are like doing incredibly well. But as a result, I grinded my teeth so badly that they're all jagged now. Um, I got gray hair. Um, not a full head of gray hair. I'm only 29. <laughs> and oh, it just really... Just the analogy of like going with the flow and doing what your emotional guidance system is telling you to do. And I've learned from this week from going with the flow and getting rid of my resistance to having to do something because this is what everyone else is saying. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you got to hustle, hustle, hustle. I was like, what happened to the self-love practices? How do you fit that in when you're hustling from 5 a.m.? You know, because... That doesn't work for me. So there's so many things that I have learned this week. And since I have been going with the flow, yes, there have been um, some obstacles that have come up. Instead of being resistant to them, I'm in my raft and I'm just like, oh, there it is, boom, got bypass it. I didn't get it. And that really made things manifest very, very quickly into my existence in my physical form. Let me just check my notes because I'm just flying high right now. Da, 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 da. Okay, so what happened this week is I got a job. For the past two years, I haven't told you this, for the past two years, I, oh, how do I say this? Because I have some resistance to it. For the past two years, I have been relying on my own creative pursuits to fund my life. I had been living off my savings and I didn't want to get a job because I was I had so much resistance to it. If I wanted to be a professional creative entrepreneur and build a business that I shouldn't get a job because you know it just didn't fit in. And I released my resistance to that. And ever since I released my resistance, this is oh my goodness, I've been holding on to it for so long. I manifested a new job, I manifested work shoes, and let's just go back to the job. The job allows me flexibility, which is absolutely amazing, and it has travel aspects into it, which is amazing. The pay rate, um, how do I choose my words here? Abraham would say, it would be really lovely if I was paid a, um, a higher wage, but my ego is, that's my ego coming up. But at the end of the day, I need to say I am where I am and it's okay. I'm making peace with the situation because before I was like, oh, this is not good. You know, I'm a qualified teacher. I've studied plant-based nutrition with Cornell University through Dr. T. Colin Campbell in America. And I've got this, 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 and this certification and I'm working at this job. But I'm retraining my consciousness to say I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I am where I am because I have to like where I am because it's all I've got. Because when you focus on what you don't have, you move further away from manifesting your desire. And this week when I spent time saying I am where I am and it's okay, I am where I am and it's enough, that's when I manifested the job. And then when I got the job, which was amazing, I was like, these people are so lovely. So then when the job came through, then the next thing was, okay, I need to have work shoes because I don't have work shoes because I did the Kamari method and everything that I like no longer sparked joy. Uh, and everything I didn't like that didn't spark joy was gone. And I only own six pairs of shoes because I wanted the minimalist life. Anyway, I'm speaking like a Gilmore girl right now, but this is what happens when I get really, really excited. Anyway, so I manifested a pair of comfortable black shoes um, that weren't like, you don't want grandma shoes when you're working. I wanted, I knew the ones that I wanted. I wanted them to lace up and blah, blah, blah. And I knew that I wouldn't pay full price for them. So I went and had coffee at this wonderful coffee shop in Sunshine Coast. And it has a clothing store, a secondhand clothing store attached to it. And I was like, oh, they're going to be there on this day. Like I knew I was going to find it. They weren't there. And I was kind of like, but they're close, like I can feel like they are close. So then I went about 50 meters down the road because there's another secondhand store. I went into there and as I walked in, I looked on the counter. For some reason I looked on the counter because I didn't look at the shoe section. I looked on the counter, there was a black pair of Vans 
And I was like, universe, they're a size eight, they're a size eight, they're a size eight, they're a size eight. I looked at it and it had UK six. And I was like, instantly I was like, shit, that's the wrong one. But then I'm like, oh, when I lived in the UK, I knew that a UK size six is an Australian size eight. And I was like, oh my God, I put them on. They fit me like a glove. I manifested them within like, 10 hours and the reason why I manifested them so quickly is because I've whipped myself into such a frenzy this week by making sure that my inner child is playing by my self-love practices. Watch my video right here. It talks about everything to do with self-love practices and I've been spending time meditating, exercising, being in the sun. I have color. I even have this, this, no, I can't say horrible because that's going to attract more horrible tens. Um, it'd be really lovely if I didn't have this tan line, but I have this beautiful color on my skin now. I have hardly any makeup on. The only makeup I have is my eyebrows and mascara. This is my natural skin color. Like how amazing is that? And I've, I've been doing reading and it says when you raise your frequency or your vibration, you manifest things quickly uh, quicker to you so I've done that I've also spent time visualizing I made a video about visualization and how powerful another part to that video which I'm going to spend more time in the next segment of our law of attraction series which I just love is talking about the emotions connected to what you're visualizing I was visualizing a job where I had flexibility and I was including the five senses into that experience. And I wasn't just thinking about it morning and night because I wanted it so bad. I was like, oh my God, how amazing is it gonna be when I get a phone call and they'll be like, hey Mel, come in for an interview. And when I got the phone call, it was like I had already lived that experience. Going with the flow of life is easy. This has been the easiest week I've had in I can't even, rem since I was in Hawaii, I would honestly say that since I was in Hawaii, because that's when I had no resistance. I was not paddling upstream. I was like, yeah, man, we're just cruising down the river. And, and when things came into my existence that were an obstacle, I didn't make it a big deal. And so as I'm going with the flow, I'm able to manifest things faster by raising my vibration through my self-love practices and visualizing and connecting my emotions to it. And when a bad thought came into my head about saying, oh yeah, Mel, you're not gonna get the job. I was using the technique to say, it would really be lovely if I um, had this wonderful job where I was paid a good wage, I was working for people that I, with and for people I truly like. That's a Louise L. Hay um, affirmation. And I just kept saying everything, everything, and I was feeling it, and I was like getting so excited. Like, I'm getting excited now because I'm thinking about these feelings associated with this new chapter that's coming into my life, and it's so exciting! Anyway, <laughs> um, what else is there? Oh yeah. Anyway, through all of this raising my vibration and going with the stream, when that happens, you are more receptive because you're in alignment or in the vortex. Um, you're listening to your intuition, that intuition or that in, uh, intuitive love inside you that is guiding you to beautiful things. And it's like, you don't have to worry anymore. I feel like, like when things go wrong, I call mama like, ah, this is what's happened. And now I'm like, I don't have to worry because I know that when I release resistance to that, which is hard. Let me just put that out there. It wasn't easy what I'm doing now. I'm just seeing the results because I've manifested them and they were like waiting in this, like, <laughs> I think of it like the Ellen TV show, like um, Green Room, where like all the fun activities happen, but she hasn't called your name to go down onto um, the set. And so it's like all of these beautiful things are waiting in this fabulous Ellen little room. And when my vibration and my visualizations match my desire, I close the gap to resistance and boom, you open the door and it's like Ellen going, Melanie Kate Love, welcome to the stage. Do, 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 do. You know, it's just, oh, how, how, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just such a good feeling to be in alignment. And 
go with the flow. Do what works best for you. If you are working at a job that is hard work, it is not the right place for you. <laughs> I have done that for such a long time. When I was in the UK, I asked the head teacher who I was working for at the time to sponsor me because my two year um, working visa was up. And she said no. And I was like, do you know who I am? Do you know the work I have just achieved with these children who were horrendous when I first had them? And look where they are now. I have their parents coming to me going, Miss Harold, that's my surname, Melanie Harold. They're like, Miss Harold, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. You know? And that happened twice at two different schools. And another one I wasn't even asked for a con, I was never even told about a position. And I was like, what, what? And that's the universe going, it's not working. And then another job I had applied for, I applied for like five different times. I was like, I am so determined to get this job. And that job, what it did, because I wasn't in alignment, it took me in and it spat me out and it was dirty. It was very dirty how it ended. And I was, I am working hard. No, that's not the right word to use. And I am choosing more um, positive thoughts to move up the emotional scale to help change those thoughts around situations. Because, you know, we all have resistance. We all have resistance. But if we, if we think a thought, don't criticize yourself. If the thought has come, just say, okay, thought, thank you for coming in my head, but I'm going to choose another thought. And I would say, it really would be lovely if this happened. You know, um, what can we think about? Look at, look at my oracle cards, right? And this is not an oracle reading, but I'm just saying. And I was thinking the other day, I would really love a new deck of cards. I have these ones and I have tarot cards, but I would really like numerology cards and chakra cards. Instead of saying like, oh, these don't cut it anymore. They're shit, you know? I know what's on all these cards. I am, you know, moving further away from my desire because the emotions associated with it are so negative. So if I would say, it really would be lovely if I could manifest a new deck of cards to introduce to my MK Love fam. It really would be lovely if that deck of cards could be the numerology or, or and, and or the chakra cards. It really would be lovely if blah, blah, blah. So I have been saying this all week and I know this video is very, very long, but I think it is so important. Moral of the story, my love, go with the flow, raise your vibration, visualize, work on the emotions associated with what you want. If a bad thought comes into your head, just say, it really would be lovely if, da 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 da, you know? There is so much I can say about this. What I would love for you to do is to subscribe if you haven't already, because 75% of you are not subscribed. Ding, 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 ding. What are we up for you, Jotto? Um, if you could subscribe and share this with beautiful people in your network, it's going to help change their lives. I know I'm going a little backtrack again, even though I'm trying to wrap up this video, but think about back to that video, um, how to manifest a vegan partner. And I knew once I had released all my blockages, I knew I was going to meet a beautiful person and I knew how they were going to treat me. I knew how they were going to talk to me. I knew how they were going to speak about me when I wasn't there. And I just felt it. And it was like, no matter who was coming into the situation and who wasn't, I knew that, because those people weren't very nice, that I was going to meet somebody truly fabulous. And then when I met my beautiful partner, I was like, oh my God, you're it. And I know that you're it because my emotions that were centered around that experience have manifested into my existence. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because we are at 20 minutes. So I just wanted to remind you one more time, that's it, one more and then I'm out and then you can comment, like, share and subscribe because that would be amazing. I just want to say, number one, go with the flow. Number two, release your resistance to whatever is coming up. Make peace with it. Watch that video. I've made it. It's fabulous. Visualize what you want. 
Connect your emotions to what you want. Make sure you are raising your vibration through your thoughts and your self-love practices. If a bad thought comes into your head, just say, it really would be lovely if... Da -da 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 -da. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching for this little extended episode for our Law of Attraction series. I hope you have enjoyed it. Actually, I'm not going to say that. I know that you have enjoyed it. <laughs> and I just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices. Don't be so hard on yourself on your journey to become your greatest version. This whole law of attraction thing is new for me and as it probably is for you or if you're more advanced then that is fabulous. Comment below, let me know what you're up to, what have you manifested, what's some blocks. If you have video ideas, I would love to hear from you. I need a cup of tea because I've just been chatting the whole time. Anyways, my love, I wanted to say have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Remember, can take, remember, continue to make better choices. I will see you next episode. I love you. I love you. I love you. Remember, I love you a lot.